I wasn't sure if I was actually going to read this um, because it's one of the most honest things I've written in a sense and I don't think I, this is one of those poems I couldn't possibly have written on purpose. Uh, we were given a writing prompt in class um, and it came from the title of a poem um, that Ocean Vong, the amazing Ocean Vong wrote and it was called Someday I'll Love Ocean Vong and he was basically talking to his past self, to his future self and then we were set the task of doing our own Sunday poem. And as soon as I started to write, looking at myself as another character, um, events from my past just started to appear on the page that I'd never been able to write about before. Because in a way, the events almost weren't mine. I was watching them from a distance. And thanks to that distance, I was able to write this. And it scares me a little to read it out, but if I can do it anywhere, I can do it here. So, here we go. Someday, I'll love Lawrence Nicholas, I tell myself, pretending it's not a faraway dream. The thing is, Lawrence, how am I meant to look at you, every mirror broadcasting the pieces of me you broke, and not feel damaged? Those fiberglass clock hands, are still there in your eyes, trap doorways to the night you tried to become dust. I can understand it. God, I've even admired your strength sometimes. But that doesn't change the fact you were ready to repay every sacrifice your exhausted, evergreen parents made by taking your own life. Lawrence, I know you're still paying for it questioning every syllable said, every cyberspace sentence you send, because saying the wrong thing means remaking the words you bled to the sky after throwing that pillow aside. Lawrence, I know my armor today is what you lived through. I am here because you kept breathing on the 90th day without sleep. I can't remember what that felt like now. I have oxycodone floorboards keeping monsters on leashes. You have nothing but nakedness against great white sciatic wolves, surviving only by counting teeth marks. Lawrence, I'll never hate you, but love is a difficult thing. Someday the scars will be smooth and I'll file them away like photographs. Maybe then we'll greet each other in a window, savour our morning coffee together as friends. Thank you.